Fun Plus Phoenix made waves with their entrance into the European Valorant scene, but after competing for the top spot during the Ignition series, they couldn't reach the same heights at first strike or in Stage 1 of the Valorant Champions Tour. FPX are looking to bounce back in Stage 2, and their driving force will be the best cipher in the West. Dima Sick. Dima Six doesn't wait on the. Oh, Dima no Six way. adjustment on Doma. Unbelievable. Normally, a Cypher player isn't the star of the team, but Dima Six is on another level. Yeah, this is nice from Fnatic, keeping composure after having a really rough time, honestly. This Getting to this shouldn't be happening. Now, do they know if it got to halfway or not? They don't, but it didn't. Dima Sick with a this wondrous so sick, round. Man. Since joining the team in January, he has fast become a rock for FPX. Combining Cypher's ability to relay information with his own insane aim, Demasic has an uncanny ability to shut down his opponents on either side of the half. Yakuma gets dropped on literally players all over him as Angel picks another Demasic from above, dealing death. Seven seconds on the clock, a 2v5 retake, and Takis goes down in just the same manner. Poor old Hoppy left alone, baits them into some peaks, but Shadow, hello, jumps on top for a flawless round. Amassing an average combat score of 249 and a nearly 1.4 KD on his Sentinel of choice, this killer from Kazakhstan is settling in as one of the most impressive support players in Europe. But Demasic isn't FPX's only ace in the hole. With Zipan on Rays and Angel calling the shots in game, FPX lets loose a methodical two pronged attack that gives their Cypher his chance to shine. Oh my <laughs> word, Zipan finds Mo on the swing. Now, yeah, we know Zipan's got aim for days. Zipan leads the charge as the squad's entry fragger, with the other three members of FPX right behind him to open up or retake sights. Opponents have to leave or be bowled over. And while they are trying to regroup, Dima Six sits on a flank and picks off unsuspecting prey. Press comes in, Fnatic going for this, but Dima Six kind of threading the needle on positioning. Yeah, exactly that, just being a pain in the ass. FPX used strats like this throughout Stage 1 and made it all the way to Masters semi-finals. It was there that they took on eventual champions Ascend in one of the most exciting matches European Valorant has ever seen. They can secure backside, they can potentially get that, but oh my god, Angel tries to throw the ult down immediately dealt with by Cold Mentor. that's massive for Ascend. Oh, and seen it then just makes his appearance. It's still a 3v3 here. Res comes in. It's going to be messy on the side, but Shao going to be putting up bodies. Three already. He needs more, though. He needs so much more. Starks and Killer still there. Now he holds his breath and waits. He tries to find the timing. Catches him on the reload. Not going to get it, though. Finds one. He needs oh! it and he gets it! FPX are a good team, but they've picked up a curse. After falling to underdogs in the semi-finals of two major events, they desperately needed to break the pattern. FPX have the talent to compete in a grand final, but to get there, they need to double down on what makes them so strong. So with Jasmine dropped now, now Pecky need to find the kills elsewhere, and Meadow and Shadow are making sure that doesn't happen. Meadow ready for the swing, but Shao deals with it first, and it's all down to back. A 1v4 and a one way. These Meadow has put those one ways down every round, and finally he gets the reward for it. The upcoming meta may provide FPX with just the tools they need, with the new star calling agent Astra joining the fray. With a set of abilities that allow teams to play even more slowly, she has a kit that will augment FPX's strategic strengths even more. Still, FPX will need more than just slow play to come out on top. They also need a solution to deal with the more aggressive teams that have been able to knock them down. It's all on Shadow, and in the round that was never meant to be the closer, it's gonna be done Ascend! Break the back of FPX! And if FPX are able to conquer the rest of Europe and win challenges, aggression is exactly what they'll be up against at Valorant's first international event. With squads converging from around the world, it'll be a true test to see which region and playstyle is the strongest. FPX are the definitive tactical team in Europe, so seeing their utility-based gameplay clash with the more hectic approach of North American squads will make for quite the show. FPX's main problem is trying to match the tempo of teams they play against. In reality, all they need to do is play their own game. If they can explode at the right time, Stars are going to find Xiao. That's a big open. Actually, they find both kills on site. It's Demasic. He's left trailing. He's wanted B main. He's got to give away his position. Diffuse coming through halfway already. The smoke down. Oh my word. Ascend. Crack a 2v3 retake there. FPX coach Jonta believes his team and their more structured play style is stronger than the more aggressive NA scene. So all they have to do is execute. 
There is work to do, but if FPX stick to their guns and outthink their opponents, they have what it takes to add to their trophy case. What do you think? Can the Phoenix rise from the ashes and take Europe by storm in Stage 2? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, like the video and subscribe to Deserto for more Valorant content.